So in this question, we have a system that's being stabilized. Now, even if we don't talk about stability, if we simply look at this block diagram, the question is, use the block diagram to find the transfer function. So the transfer function is a relationship between the output and the input. So it's the ratio of y of z divided by x of z. So it's easier if we think of everything in the z domain. So never mind x of n and y of n, let's look at x of z and y of z. So this is simply an addition block. And if we look at the block diagram bit by bit, we can feed the input through the blocks through to the output. So at this point here, what we have is z to the power minus 1 times y of z. So at this point here, what we should have is this plus this. But there's a minus sign here, so it's actually the difference of the two. So we can say that what we have here should be x of z minus z to the power minus 1 y of z. So all of this gets multiplied by d and multiplied by g. So we can say the output y of z is simply x of z minus z y of z. So this is this multiplied by d of z multiplied by g of z. So each of these blocks is multiplied. Why? It's because these are in cascade. And in cascade, we can simply multiply the transfer functions. So the question is find the transfer function, and that's h of z. So what we want is the ratio of the two. So let me try to simplify it like this. If I take y of z as a common factor, it will be 1 plus z to the minus 1, d of z, g of z, equals x of z, d of z, g of z. So the transfer function, h of z, is simply y of z divided by x of z. So it's d g divided by all of this. That's 1 plus z to the minus 1 d of z g of z. So that's, that's the answer. That's the transfer function. But in this particular question, we're given d and g. So we can replace um, d with uh, the value we're given in the question, which is k. So that's k, and that's k. And g we can replace with z over z minus 2. So my transfer function simplifies to z or kz over z minus 2 divided by 1 plus z to the minus 1 times kz over z minus 2. Now that would be my final answer, but I could simplify this by multiplying it by z minus 2 over z minus 2, just to get rid of these denominators here. So 
my final answer will be K Z divided by Z minus two and that will cancel with that, that and that will cancel with this and that. K minus two plus K. So that's your final answer. That's the transfer function. And we got this transfer function from the block diagram.